when N. Vittal, Secretary of the Department of Electronics, called on individuals working in the US to set up software export companies in India. Anand Deshpande, who was working with HP Labs in the US after completing his PhD, was inspired to return to India and start something of his own. While in the US, Anand asked his father, Dada Deshpande, to incorporate a company on his behalf. On May 30th, 1990, Persistent was formally incorporated. That was 30 years ago and the start of the Persistent journey. It took a long time to get things set up. It wasn't easy and the infrastructure posed a major challenge. Finally, we secured our first working space in March 1991 at Software Technology Park at Posri, a small 350 square foot office which is where it all began. Persistent was the first company to be incorporated as a part of STPI. Our first contract was with GIP Altair 2 Technologies, a French company focused on object databases. Uh, when uh, Anand started Persistent Systems, he called me and told me about his new company. I really liked the idea that he went back to his country and start there rather than stay in the US and become an American like everybody else. So I had some budget for subcontracting in my organization and we needed some work done. Uh, I'm actually not totally sure uh, what the topic was. I think it was either testing a piece of software or putting it onto a new environment. So it was a well-defined project uh, and I think this was the first contract Persistent Systems ever signed. Persistent enjoyed early success working with database product companies. This was no accident. After all, Anand had worked in the database area during his PhD. It was a small project from Microsoft in 1992 that proved to be a turning point, giving the small team the confidence to begin approaching other leading technology companies. While these companies have also evolved, they continue to be our customers. The advent of the internet in the mid-90s spurred innovation and new opportunities for Persistent to build a boutique brand as a technology provider. We moved very quickly from Bhosri into the city at Senapati Bapat Road, Pune in 1994, setting up Kapil Vastu. After moving to the new office, we started looking at hiring fresh graduates from IIT Bombay and other leading colleges around Pune. During those early years, we put special efforts into building the right company culture. To embrace sound corporate governance practices, we brought independent directors on the board and started contributing 1% towards community development, building training and learning programs for employees, entering into technical collaborations with top research universities, and hosting international conferences such as VLDB. The company continued to grow slowly and steadily with our team reaching 100 employees in 1999. This was the first time for a lot of change when we also announced the ESOC plan. Towards the end of 1999, we also received our first external investor, Intel 64 Fund. That year, the company's revenue crossed the 10 crore mark. In 2001, as the market started to come back up again, it was important for us to become focused. It was then decided that Persistent would not jump on the IT outsourcing bandwagon and instead focus on product development and product outsourcing. We were soon clearly recognized as leaders in that space. The 2000s were a time for rapid growth for us. This was the time we constructed a lot of our office building that later became iconic in the city's landscape. In addition to Panini, which was already operational since 1998, we constructed Bhagirath in 2001 and Aryabhatta Pingala. We also expanded beyond Pune with centers in Goa and Nagpur. Also, during this time, we reached 1,000 employees and our revenue crossed the 100 crore mark. Our rapid growth caught the attention of Norwest Venture Partners and Gabriel Venture Partners, 
two leading Silicon Valley venture capital firms who invested in Persistent. Working with leading software companies also helped us stay on top of the new technologies, which in turn enabled us to successfully predict and invest in technology trends like cloud, analytics, collaboration and mobility, disrupting technologies that would redefine the markets in the years to come. Innovation has always been a key aspect of our work right from our early days and this was reinforced by the NASCOM Innovation Award that we received in 2008. During this period of growth, we realized that we had value to provide not just to product companies, but also to the companies who were using these products. As the market started to recover from the global financial crisis, we recognized that our clients were quite keen on us, helping them work with their client ecosystems. This led to our partnerships with IBM and Salesforce that helped broaden our footprint from product development to implementing technology solutions. By this time, our contributions towards NGOs as part of our social responsibility were starting to grow quite substantially. We saw the need for a formalized, structured approach to CSR to ensure long-term investments, continuity and impact across all our community initiatives. With this in mind, the Persistent Foundation was set up in 2009 and introduced programs across education, healthcare and community development. Persistent became one of the first IPOs in the Indian market after the global financial crisis. It was an overwhelming success, helping to establish Persistent as a global brand. Being a listed company now, Persistent began to get noticed. 2010 to 2019 was a period of global expansion, which involved setting up centers around the world and ushering in a global outlook. As we successfully completed the IPO, our team crossed the 5,000 employee mark and revenue also crossed 1,000 crores. By 2016, digital disruption had forced every business to reevaluate their business models and evolve to become robust and agile. Digital transformation was about becoming a software driven business. Persistent strength in building products for software companies put us in a unique position to respond to the market's needs as customers began the journey of digital transformation. Today, Persistent has evolved into a multifaceted company. While still a trusted partner for product development, we've become a global solutions company that delivers a digital business acceleration and modernization for enterprises.